makes you move. Amazing scenery and great people. This was our last day in Morgan's Bluff. Tomorrow we would set sail for New Providence. Day one was Monday, February 26th. We left at 6.30 a.m. We traveled 30 miles from Morgan's Bluff to West Bay, right there at the west end of New Providence. We arrived at roughly 4.30 p.m. We're leaving Morgan's Bluff. We're gonna attempt to go directly into the wind and get to Nassau. It's, it's low winds, but it's dead in our face. It's the best window we've had in the last week, so we're gonna go for it and see what happens. Might have to tack. Depending on how it goes, we might motor, but try to save diesel, you know. We'll see how it goes. On the fifth day of this trip, Sterling saw the jib flapping around and told me to use the drawstring. I know it's hard to watch, but eventually we do manage to get that fixed. Okay, uh, we were trying to motor dead into the wind. Of course, we waited until the first calm day we could find, and it was directly into our face. So, running the engine a little bit harder than we hoped to try to go at least three knots, uh, the water started coming out of the overflow tank. So we had to drop it down to 2200 RPM. Once at 2200 RPMs, we realized that we were doing 1.5 to two knots into the waves and wind. So we decided to pull out the jib and tack. Obviously we cannot make our heading, so we had to go off course about 105. And now we're currently doing 180. And once we get to a position where our bearing will be 105, we'll do one more tack and hopefully coast right on in there. This is a big island. Bobbing in. Oh. We just arrived on the west end of New Providence, basically Nassau, and uh, Sterling invited us over, so we're going to go over the charts and he's chefing out. Will you show him what's in the oven when you get a second? Sure, sure. Like mashed potatoes, yeah. sweet peas, and... Danish ham with brown sugar and pineapple on top. Alright. Day two was Tuesday, February 27th, which happened to be my birthday. We left at 6.30 a.m. and traveled 45 miles from West Bay to Highborn K and arrived at 5.30 p.m. that day. 
taking off from New Providence Island, headed to the Exumas. Today is Joel's birthday. Turns 31. Happy birthday, Joel. Safe travels to us, hopefully. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> This is approaching High Bourne Key, the northern part of the Exuma Islands. Looks like a lot of boats are here. You can see We Don't Know right over there, right in front of that yacht. I think that's him. Oh, looks like a yellow blob right now. Oh, it's because of the rigging. There he is. Got a few little groceries. Time to head out. Day three was Wednesday, February 28th. We left at 9 a.m. and traveled 35 miles from Highborn K down the west side of the Exumas and dropped anchor at Pipe K roughly 5 p.m. Homemade English muffins from scratch. Thanks to Marta. He sold me a bunch of yeast and flour and cornmeal while we were stranded in Morgan's Bluff. Leaving Highborn Key. The wind is directly off our side and a little behind us. She's a thoroughbred, just ready to run. We're gaining on him. Ready the cannons? We're coming down on his port side. Aye, right, aye, Captain. All right, over here we have a boat that's coming from Georgetown. They should be in Miami by tonight. Hopefully that wake doesn't flip us over. All right, we've been booking it down here. We're doing uh, five to six knots. We're just east of Sister and K. Let's go take a look. So Sister and K should be right there. Jousting on sailboats. Sterling's trimaran versus the pirate ship.
Uh, this is where we ended up anchoring close to Pipe K. Not really sure really where we ended up. We just picked our own spot. Day four was Thursday, March 1st. We left at 6.30 a.m. and traveled 45 miles from Pipe K down Pipe K down we crossed that Galliot cut and then we were on the east side of the Exuma Islands we traveled about 10 more miles cut back in and dropped anchor at Leaf K at 4.30 p.m. Sun's just coming up as we're leaving Pipe K. Michael told me to stop doing the food stuff. We're overdoing it maybe, but I, I can't help it. I'm really excited about this meal. We've been on the water all day. And there's tuna tacos with sprouts. That's actually not true. Tuna tacos with sprouts? Why is that not true? It's chicken. Oh, chicken? You made chicken. Oh, we had tuna underway. Now she threw a wild card. Day five was Friday, March the 2nd. We left at 6.30 a.m from Leaf K through Adderley Cut down to Comp Cut where we cut in and dropped anchor at Elizabeth Harbor in Georgetown at 1.30 p.m. All right, we're just now Coming out of Adderley Cut, we anchored at Leaf K last night. It's about 6.30, maybe 7 in the morning. And this is the home stretch. We got roughly 30 miles to get to Georgetown today. Just as we entered into the Atlantic, we realized how flat the water was.
we got her filleted underway. That's that's a that's a good amount of fish for being half a fish, and that's all that's all good meat right there. Um, I don't know. It feels like at least five pounds. Let me see. Yeah, that's five pounds. So I think full size. That was a twenty pound fish. beginner's luck. I knew it was going to happen. Next time, we're going to show you all around Georgetown, a cruiser's paradise. Be sure to subscribe and also check out bumsonaboat.com for a new fresh perspective on this adventure. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. These are the tales of Boab.